What is the fear of the Lord? Well, the fear of, you know, a lot of people try to reduce it to mean it's just reverential trust. But there's more than reverential trust. <laughs> he is a consuming fire. You know, when I was a, a child, my daddy said, Rick, electricity will hurt you or electricity can help you. Depends on how you touch it. And you need to understand the power of God is mighty. And if you respect the power of God and learn to cooperate and walk in holiness, the power of God will bring all kinds of blessings into your life. But if you live in sin, and if you defy the word of God like your uh, like Maricela was saying, by the way, Maricela, you were just powerful. I'm telling you, there can be a negative effect of the power of God. And we need to understand, we're talking about power. And if you don't handle it right, it's going to hurt you. If you handle it right, it will heal you. It will deliver you. It will do everything good. But we need to have a real healthy dose of respect for God for his mighty, mighty presence. You know, when Moses came on the mountain and saw the fire, God said, take your shoes off. The ground you're standing on is holy ground. And we need to understand who we're dealing with. We're dealing with a holy God. And Maricel is right. So much has been lost. It's just been lost. And we have a spiritual responsibility, and thank you for this program, to help people know how to stir it back up again. We don't have to be a victim of the age. We just don't have to be. Even if we feel like we're an island in the middle of a sea that's all messed up, then be an island. You can be alive where you are, wherever you are. Amen. So true. Yeah. And I